What's up guys? Sorry for not uploading a video in quite a long time, but um, I've had to make a pretty big decision. Uh, I decided to uh, not ride my recumbent bike anymore. I've decided to switch from my recumbent bike to a normal bicycle for the European bike tour. It took a while to figure it out, but um, after I made uh, the last video about the benefits of my recumbent bike, I um, started to worry a lot about the trip and about how the uh, Holland bike tour went because I thought that uh, after a while I'll get better and uh, everything will be fine I'll just have to do some changes to the recumbent bike and everything will be good but there were some things that kept bugging me and in the end I woke up every morning with this feeling that I didn't want to go on this trip anymore and it was a really bad feeling, I had it for about a week, I was really depressed almost. I uh, didn't want to make any videos, I didn't do anything basically. I was just watching a lot of TED talks about motivation and stuff, but motivation didn't come back. So I started thinking about what it was that I was worried about. So I started to think about the goal of this trip, like what did I want to do on this trip? I wanted to see a lot of things and I wanted to make a lot of pictures and video about the trip to share with you. And um, I found that on my recumbent bike I've had some trouble to make videos every now and then. Like there were times where I was uh, cycling beautiful countryside and I wanted to grab my camera but that actually took a while. Sometimes I almost fell because I had to grab my camera from my pouch in front of me while I was riding. And most of the times I had to stop because I couldn't grab my camera or I, it was laying on my lap or it fell. I fell like twice or something and uh, it was a lot of hassle. Also in traffic when I was uh, near a city or in a city like it was crazy bad. I had my phone in my pocket so it um, gave me directions through the year but sometimes I was just riding in the wrong direction and it took a while to find that out and once I found out I had to turn around so I had to lift up the whole bike turn around yeah it just was a lot of a lot of frustration and that kind of made me that I didn't want to uh, take video anymore or not not so much video and uh, that really got to me like last week I was just not feeling good not motivated to make any video or work on the trip anymore. So uh, a couple of days ago I decided to uh, switch to a normal bicycle. And there were also some other reasons that I was really worrying about. One of them was mountains. I really wanted to go to the mountains and when I went to the bike shop or the recumbent bike shop to ask if that was possible they were like I don't know you're probably gonna walk a lot. And the most important thing I think was that I was bringing too much stuff. I uh, had two front panniers and two rear panniers and a bag on top of that with a laptop and stuff in there and it was just quite a lot of stuff for that recumbent bike. Also when I was standing still with all of my stuff on it I really needed all the space around me in order to get going you know to get get that pedal motion on because I was like especially in the beginning you're really going from side to side to try to uh, get going. So if the goal for this trip was to sleep in a hotel every night, just bring one camera, one small camera, a few clothes and uh, not a whole lot of stuff, then the recumbent bike would be perfect. You know, the, like the guy from the recumbent bike shop, he was, uh, when he was on vacation, he was doing like 250 kilometers a day, but he was sleeping at hotels every night. And he was just riding pretty much the whole day, he said, so. But that was not the goal of the trip for me. Because the, trip, the goal of the trip for me was to stop at every interesting place. Like if there's interesting stuff uh, going on, I wanted to get off the bike and take a look there, of course. So yeah, that's why I decided to get on a normal bike, which is a lot easier to get going, bring a lot of stuff. I put the recumbent bike on a uh, eBay similar kind of website here in the Netherlands. I've already bought a brand new uh, touring bicycle which I will show you in the next video. On the 8th of July I will be going to America for three weeks with my parents so expect some videos of that trip as well. That was about all I wanted to say for there's not much going on. I'm still going on this trip but the recumbent bike is uh, unfortunately not gonna happen. So yeah I hope you guys understand. Um, 
It was a pretty, pretty hard decision to make, but uh, I had to do it. I feel a lot better now. I feel uh, motivated again. I'm really uh, having a better feeling now for this trip. I'm also planning uh, the route right now, so I'm not 100% sure which way to go yet, but I think I have some ideas, but I will keep that for another video. So thank you so much for watching. So please give a thumbs up for motivation. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.